Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, why main method is static? Let me answer. In order to understand why main method is static, you need to have some basic knowledge of how Java works, okay? So for that, I'll open this uh, paint. So I'll tell you how the things work in Java guys, okay? Let's say there is a, you know, Java file or, you know, class, let's say Java class. So there is a class in Java, class say sample one class, starting of the class, ending of the class like this, okay? Starting and ending of the class. Inside this class, let's say, there is a method, okay? Some method is there. Some public void, uh, uh, you know, S1 uh, or, you know, method M1, M1 method is there. Assume that this is the thing. There's a class and inside the class, there is a method. Now in Java, if you want to call this particular method, which is there in the sample one class, what we have to do is we have to, we have to first create an object for sample one class, okay? From outside the class, if you want to call this particular method, which is there inside this class, okay? We have to first create an object for this sample one class. And then using the object reference, we have to call this method, okay? After creating the object for the sample one class, using the using the object, otherwise let's not say object reference, using the object, we can call the method. What is the method? M1 method, right? In this example, M1 method. So just understand again, guys, okay? There is a class, inside the class, there is a method. If I want to call this particular method from outside the class, for this particular class, I have to create an object. In Java first, for this particular class, I have to create an object and using that object, we have to call this method, okay? This thing is clear for you. Is there any other way to call this uh, method? I don't want to create an object. Still, I want to call this method. Is there any way? Let me take another case, okay? Let me take another case where, you see again, there's a class. Again, there's a class, class uh, sample one, let's say. Again, there is a class and inside the class, and inside the class, there's a method, public. This time, public void, M1 method, okay, M1 method. This time, what I am trying to do is, without creating an object for this class, from outside the class, I need to call this method, okay? So for that, I need to create an object for this class. But this time, what I want to do is, without create an object, without creating an object for this class, can I access this method? Is there any way? Yes, there is a way, guys. By making this method a static method, okay? I have to make this method a static method. Earlier, in the previous example here, you see this method is a normal method. It's not a static method. Hence, I need to first create an object for this class and using that object, I need to call this method. But here in this case, inside the method, inside the class, there is a method. If I make that particular method static, then I don't have to create an object for this class. Then how can I access this method? With the class itself, I can simply say sample one dot, I mean, with the class name, okay? With the help of class, I can access the method, okay? If the method inside the class is of static type, okay? If the method inside the class is of static type, then we can call that method inside the class using the class itself. Is there any need to create an object in this case? Is there any need to create an object in this case? The answer is no guys. There is no need to create an object for this particular okay, class because this method inside the class is static type. So with the help of the class only, I can access this method. Okay, I don't have to create object. So these concepts, if you are clear, you will understand why main method has to be static, okay? If you are clear with that static, there are two ways to call a method inside a class. One way is to create an object for the class and using that object, we can call the method. Other way is that making that method inside the class as static and using the class name, we can access the method. If you are good with this, then you will understand whatever I am trying to explain. 
to you know clear your doubt why main method is static why we have to whenever we write java programs right we create a class inside that class we create main method and every time you see we provide static keyword for the main method okay static keyword why we provide the static keyword because okay this you already got it okay so when the java program for example i'll just uh, you know create something so that you will understand it now okay i'll just take an example and explain all these points so that it will be clear for you so right click new class okay main static demo i'm just giving a name for the class click on finish so inside this class if i have to create a main method i have to write something like this, this is the syntax of the main method public static void main string args and the starting of the main method and ending of the main method so why this particular main method need to be specified as static is the question okay if i don't specify this as static any error coming no right click run as i'm not getting an option to run the java code you see if i provide static only i'm able to run the java code practically if i remove the static keyword here i cannot run this main method i cannot run this java code guys okay the main method is not static if i remove this static keyword here you see right click run as i'm not getting application option to run this code again when i put static here right click run as i'm getting the option to java application option to run this code so static is playing a key role and it's uh, you know even though it's not giving any compiler error but it's kind of you know necessary for us to run the java programs without the static keyword in the main method we cannot run this java code main method is useless without static okay keyword but why why main method need to be uh, you know uh, provided with static keyword if you have to understand this you have to understand these concepts guys there are two ways to access call a method inside a class one is by creating an object for the class and calling the method other other is by making the method as static you don't have to create an object for the class and you can by using the class only we can call the static methods okay so here what's happening is so who need to run this java code who need to run this java code jvm okay when the program execution starts by that time in the beginning of the java code uh, beginning of the java program execution will there be any objects created for the classes any classes answer is no guys okay when you start running some java program when the java program execution starts will there be any objects created for the classes is it possible for this particular class an object can be created outside this without writing the object creation code here no right so what we do is okay what we do is if you make this particular main method static there is no need of creating an object for this class inside which main method is there to call this main method object is not required for creating okay object is not uh, no need to create an object for this class inside which main method is there if you want to call this main method who will call this main method jvm is going to call that okay when the program execution starts jvm is something which need to run this code guys but what's the problem is this code in order to run the main method need to be executed the starting point of the execution is a main method for the for the jvm to run the main method code and all it need to first create an object for the class and using that object it has to call this method but that is not possible where can i where can i specify that uh, object creation for this particular uh, class and all because the, when the beginning of the execution starts there will not be any objects created for any class guys okay so how can jvm access this main method if there is no object created for this class is a question that's where we provide static keyword to this main method so what happens when you provide static keyword to this main method what jvm cleverly does is since there is no object already created for this class what jvm will do is jvm will load this particular class into the memory okay since object cannot be created for this class before the execution starts what jvm will do is to run this code and all what jvm will do is jvm will load this particular class into the memory and using the class it will call this main method how can it call the main method with the help of the class because this main method is static if a particular main method is static with the class we can call the methods right generally if a method is static inside the class you don't have to create an object for the class directly using the class we can call that static method so in this case of jvm also here jvm need to run this java program when the program execution starts 
but JVM will not find any object already created for this class. So what JVM will look forward is, JVM will load this particular class into the memory and with the help of the class, it will access the static main method. Okay, with the help of the class, static methods can be accessible. Hence, main method is mentioned as static. By loading the class into the memory, Java will invoke the main method using class as it is static, as the main method is static. By with the help of that class in which main method is there, okay, it will call the main method. Okay, so that's the reason main method is static. Hope you guys understood what I covered in this. Okay, so if you understand these concepts, okay, of accessing the methods inside the class, there is one way is to create an object for the class and call the method using the object. Other way is to make that particular method inside the class as static and using the class, we can access the method. So in this case, if for the JVM to access this main method and to start executing the Java programs, it either need to create an object for the class or it has to uh, call this main method with the help of the class. So it will take the second approach because objects for the class are not created, okay? Uh, cannot be created outside. So what JVM will do is, JVM will load this particular class into the memory and with the help of the class, it will access the main method. That's the reason main method need to be mentioned as static type. Otherwise, JVM will not be able to run this. If you remove the static keyword, you see you are not getting any Java application option to run the Java code. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question with a practical demonstration in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.